yeah. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Mountain Vibes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So in today's video, we are looking at the all new 2021 Blizzard Brahma. So I'm gonna go over what makes this ski new, what hasn't changed, who this ski is for. So without further ado, let's get into this video, shall we? All right, so let's start off with the biggest change in the skis this year, and that is going to be the wood core itself. So this is what Blizzard is referring to as their True Blend wood core or True Flex technology. Essentially what they've done is they've taken two different densities of wood and kind of strategically done them differently in three key areas of the ski. Now, also keep in mind that this is not going to be exclusive to the Brahma 88. This could also be found in the Brahma 82, the Bonafide 97, and the entire Black Pearl line. So the reason why they would want to design the skis like this is because by having more dense woods on, in the middle of the ski, this is going to give you a lot more power. It's going to be, give you like a lot more edge grip. And then as those, uh, denser stringers taper off with it, the tip and tail, it's gonna allow the ski to be a little bit more forgiving. You're gonna allow to release that power a lot more. And so therefore the ski isn't gonna be quite as demanding as it used to be, but it's still gonna give you the performance that these skis have actually been known to have. And also with the new wood core design, they have now also designed the cores for each specific size of ski. So essentially your 166 is gonna have a different core than like your 173, your 177 is gonna be different from your 181, et cetera, et cetera. This is allowing Blizzard to maintain a flex pattern that is true to each size of ski. Whereas traditionally what, what you would have done is you would take one big block of wood and then chopped it for each individual size. This would have made it a lot harder to manipulate the way that the core was actually built and how the ski would actually flex. But this new way of design or this new way of manufacturing, they are allowed to control the flex of each ski. It's allowing Blizzard to kind of like maintain the same flex pattern throughout the entire line of skis that they make. So if you're someone who's a little bit smaller, not quite as strong a skier, you can kind of go for something a little bit shorter. If you are wanting a little bit more performance, a lot more power out of your ski, you can just size it up. Now I actually got to try this ski uh, several months ago and I actually did notice the difference between let's say like the 172 uh, and then the 177. Normally I would ski be skiing like the 173 in previous generations, but because of the way that they've designed the cores this year, I've actually sized up and gone to the 177. Um, I'm only five seven so just keep that as a reference now another big thing with them with the way that they've actually designed the wood cores is allow them to change the rocker and camber profile of these skis uh, in previous generations they had a little bit more camber at the tip and tail but because of the way that the wood core has now been designed and with it being a little bit more softer more forgiving it's allowing them to give you a little bit more edge grip at the tip and tail of the ski. So maybe not quite perform as like a standard GS ski, uh, it, but it is still gonna be nice and forgiving at the tip and tail, but still giving you all that performance that these skis have actually been known to have. Now, those are the new things about it. The things that haven't really changed is going to be the two layers of titanium or two and a half layers actually, because they actually do put another layer underneath for the mounting plate of the ski just kind of, you know, beefing it up a little bit. It is gonna make the ski a little bit heavier, but it's also gonna make it still that nice, damp, powerful ski that the Brahma has always been known for. All right, and one more thing that Blizzard decided to keep in these skis, and that is in fact their flip core technology. So essentially what that is, is that in the manufacturing or the pressing process, they flip the core of the ski upside down, giving it that natural rocker feel, and they're bending the camber into it. This allows the ski to have a very smooth flex curve, and it also really helps prevent a lot of chatter at the tip and tail. Uh, you have noticed that a lot of that with a lot of the Blizzard skis, you do notice that you do get a lot more performance with this manufacturing process and no one else really does it. So I'm really glad that they've actually decided to keep that with this particular ski. All right, so with all the technical stuff out of the way now, like who is this ski actually for? Well, if you're about a high intermediate level skier and you're looking to advance your skills, you want something that's like a little bit more powerful, you know, sizing down again, something a little bit shorter in this model would be a fantastic choice for you. Now, at the same time, if you are someone who's like a much more powerful skier and you demand a lot from your skis, you could easily just go with like a current size that you already have, or you could even size it up just to give you like a little bit more grip, a little bit more power, and a little bit more stiffness. Uh, by upgrading or even purchasing the new ski, you definitely will not not regret getting the new one. So that's it for me for today, everybody. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please hit the button. I'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are not already. Please support your local ski and snowboard shop. Stay safe out there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.